Next question is from Shelby Purser. What's the best advice I can give to my sister who just recently found out she's diabetic? You know, so step number one, I would do this. Um, have her train to build muscle, and here's why. Building muscle is a phenomenal insurance against uh, diabetes, or at least getting your body to manage its blood sugar and how it re reacts and responds to insulin. Muscle uh, uses up uh, glucose and glycogen. It stores it. It's, an, it's a very active tissue. When you build muscle, you'll find, I found clients uh, have to use, you know, for people who are type 1, have to use less insulin. I've seen other clients use less medication to bring their, their sugar down because now they've built muscle. So building muscle, very important. It makes a huge difference uh, for diabetics. As far as diet is concerned, there's a lot of mixed messages you get out there. Some people would say studies show going real low carb is the best thing. Other people would say, well, studies actually show eating lower fat is a good thing. Here's what they all have in common. They're not overeating. Getting yourself at a nice, lean body fat percentage. You don't need to get shredded, but in a healthy body fat percentage range. Not overeating. Avoiding heavily yeah. processed foods because that really encourages overeating. Um, avoiding, because you're automatically avoiding heavily processed foods, you automatically avoid things like lots of sugars and lots of added sodiums and stuff like that. You'll find that it'll be easier for her to manage her diabetes. And I've even seen, and I'm not saying this will happen to your sister, but I've seen with friends of mine where they've really done this and taken this seriously. And over the course of a year- Got rid of it. Yeah, it got yeah. to the point where it was barely measurable or not measurable at all yeah. because they did those things. Well, that's I was first of all, uh, I'm not a doctor and I'm not a nutritionist, okay? So uh, definitely, I think you should uh, you know seek out somebody that is a professional in the field for sure. And we're talking about an individual that I don't know anything about other than what you're just telling us right here. But I will share with you some some generic advice that has worked for many of my clients, and that's similar to what Sal said. Um, as far as nutrition, uh, a paleo esque diet has worked best for me with clients like this. So, like in eating like a paleo type of diet, it's not super super low carb. You're but you're making better choices as far as your carbohydrates. Uh, it's you know moderate protein, moderate fat. Uh, it's at whole foods. So I think that's a really good place to start nutritionally. Generically, generic answer, right? And then. Uh, as far as like exercises, it's getting the weight down. I've seen many people that are either borderline diabetic or become diabetic. And because we're on top of it right away, that six months of training or whatever like that, we can completely eliminate that. And through losing body fat, getting their mm -hmm. body fat down a lot of times will do that. So, you know, I would look into uh, a nutritionist or following a routine or a nutrition routine similar to something like paleo. And then I would just really focus on being in a caloric deficit and focus on building muscle, like Sal said. And those two things uh, should hopefully combat this.